this lake is um, really clean and uh, it's because there it's in a residential area so there are no industries or uh, commercial uh, outfits here but also there's been a um, residential neighbors association that's been operating for a long time and it's the um, Oat Hill Conservation Society or oh, something yes. and um, they work they wor have worked really hard and they continue to work really hard to keep it clean so I think I'm not sure if it's still in the water or if they took it out on the weekend it's probably still in but there's a little floating um, solar powered aerating device that they got a grant for and they set up and install every year and it just floats around the lake and aerates the the water and keeps it you know much healthier and they oh, also nice. use it for testing so they test for oxygen levels and uh, bacteria and all kinds of other things beautiful yeah so they're always kind of staying on top of things and they do a lot of work um like they've persuaded all of the residents around the lake not to uh, ask for their roads or sidewalks to be salted, so there's no salt, road salt that's draining into it. And um, they've also done things like, there was a beaver that set up a lodge or tried to set up a lodge at the far end of the lake this year and they had the Department of Natural Resources come and, and relocate it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, um, see this uh, water plant here it's a kind of invasive uh, water plant and uh, so they've slowly been taking that out so they have volunteer days where people come and okay. they remove that plant and they do the same thing with ivies and things like that that have shown up in the in the woods oh how nice yeah this so is like really beautiful it's a gem it's mm -hmm. a gem and you know in the summer this year especially when the bigger lakes were closed yeah um it was one of the few places where kids could walk to and go for a swim, so it was really well used. Yeah. And um, yeah, there were so many days I came up here and there were lots of like really fun inflatables, like big pink <laughs> flamingos and swans and things, and lots of kids having a lot of fun. And in the winter, it gets used a lot for um, skating. It's a really nice lake for skating because it tends to... Um, It'll freeze faster. It than freezes than fast, fast. Yeah. so it's often really yeah. smooth, yeah. So we can walk around this way through the sure. forest, and there's like a little boardwalk there. And sure. uh, I'll, I'll show you where the good places to swim are. I keep seeing something jump, and I can't tell if it's a fish. It could well be a fish. But I also saw some frogs when I was walking over here, so it could be frogs walking around. Oh, you can hear them. Yeah, over there on the yeah. lily, lily pad. Nice. Yeah. So first day of school, all the kids are... Yeah. In school or in school, I guess. Oh, here's something interesting. Yeah, poison ivy. So they detected poison ivy. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of it there. Yeah. And uh, I don't think they're going to take it out or anything, but they've marked it and they're warning people about it. Yeah. Lots of frogs. Yeah. <laughs> there. Yeah, I can. Can you see that? Can you see there? it? Yeah. Yeah. Those are good signs. Oh, there goes another one. So this is a plant called jewelweed, and it's uh, it often grows right next to or in proximity to. Uh, poison ivy because it's the remedy so you know, for some reason they are kind of companion plants and uh, yeah. yeah so if you see this around you know that there's poison ivy poison ivy is not far away that's yeah. good to know yeah I had someone treat me with it once I had a rat on the back of my leg they thought it was it might be poison ivy so they mixed up this kind of poultice and it um, really then it felt them great. It was really cooling and the skin oh. felt very oh, that's nice to know. Oh, it kind of looks like a little bit like a um like, like a, a snapdragon. Snap yeah. Oh. This is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, all the flames and nice. Yeah, and it was a really nice respite at the beginning of the um, 
pandemic here to come up here because we couldn't walk on city trails or, you know, um, park trails or anything like yeah. that. And then it was one of the two places where it was okay to be out. We also weren't supposed to be driving anywhere to go for a walk. We had to That's right. Home. Yeah, so this is a really nice place to go in the water. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, there's a fish. It's yeah. A little trout or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's nice that you put in these engineered stones. Steps a few years ago, so it makes it a bit easier. So I, I often go in here. But you can sort of see some points over on the other side yeah. Yeah. where you can tell that people come down the bank there. I swung from over here as well. Yeah. yeah. Did you come up to the schools through the forest? Or up the hill? No, I came, I just came right up the the hill where it, that looks down onto um the lake. Like oh yeah, where the steps are. Right? Yeah. 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 Last time I went through there, in that area, um, I took them up the little trails that goes through the Silver Hill Forest. Oh, that's a good area. And there. It's to yeah. the left, right? Yeah, there's yeah. a whole kind of network of trails that sort of traverse and cut diagonally. Oh, I'll do that on the way home. Yeah. The only bad thing about it is that when you come out on um, Prince Albert Road, there's a sidewalk there. Yeah. And it's not a convenient place to Cross the streets and kind of blown over. I think it's kind of like mm -hmm. So, this is the other really popular place to go in, as you can tell. Yeah. And this is where they launch the uh, air reading unit. Is that it That's there? It there. Yeah. yeah. That's where I do put it in in the middle of the summer. Nice. Yeah, and there are all these little pathways that go through each other parts of the suburbs, basically. So I can't remember what kind of pathway it connects to here, but it goes to Manor Park. Okay, area. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hanging along. Yeah, kind of that neighborhood. Yeah, it's really cool. There were blackberries here. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of one. What's that? Yeah, there's a couple of little teeny tiny ones. Tiny ones. Yeah. yeah, I picked a lot actually on your side of the lake mm -hmm. last week or so. Oh, did you? Yeah, but I think they're probably gone. Yeah. 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 Well, I see three swimmers I up there. Too. Yeah, I see three. Yeah. Want to go for a swim? I think I do. Um, uh, did you bring your bathing suit? I did. I, I have okay. my bathing suit and uh, a teeny tiny little towel. Oh, great! <laughs> yeah, the towel too. Um, so I, the place that I like to go in the best is I think where that person went in, where there's the, the steps down into the water. I find that the easiest if you want to sure. head back that way. Yeah, you can see that. And if there's a bench not too far from there, we can. Okay, see great. That on. So does your mic pick up the wind, or does the mouse work? Um, so it'll hear the rustling of yeah. the um, trees, um, or the leaves in the trees, but it won't get that sh oh, that's sound good. because yeah. the, like the I think, yeah, I just leave my stuff here.